Okay, so uh, here we shall explain some more properties of determinants with some examples. So the pro uh, we shall tell the property five. Property five states that if some or all the elements of a row or column of a determinant are expressed as a sum of two or more terms, then the determinant can be expressed as a sum of two or more determinants. So if some or all the elements, sum or all the elements of a row or a column, sum of all the elements of a row or a column of a determinant of a determinant can be expressed can be expressed as the sum or two or more uh, terms as a sum of two or more terms then the determinant can be expressed the determinant can be expressed as the sum of two or more determinants. The sum of two or more determinants. So, for example, if I have like a determinant, is suppose the determinant of a1 plus lambda1 and a2 plus lambda2 a3 plus lambda 3 then here we have b1 b2 b3 and here we have c1 c2 c3 so here we see that the elements in the first row has been expressed as a sum of two two terms as a sum of two terms every element in the first row has been expressed so this determinant can also be expressed as a sum of two determinants like this which is a1 a2 a3 then b1 b2 b3 then c1 c2 c3 plus it will be the determinant of lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 then b1 b2 b3 then c1 c2 c3 <coughs> And um, so based on this, we can do one example, solve one example. Suppose uh, it is asked to show that, show that the determinant of A, B, C, and A plus 2X, and B plus 2Y, C plus 2Z, then X, Y, Z, that is equal to zero. So this we have to prove by not expanding the determinant but we so we have to solve it by not expanding it by not expanding the determinant by not expanding the determinant so how to solve it so here we see that the elements in the second row has been expressed as a sum of two terms as a sum of two terms so we can uh, write this determinant also as the sum of two de determinants. So therefore, this de determinant, let's call it as delta. So delta is equal to A, B, C, A plus 2X, B plus 2Y, C plus 2Z, then X, Y, Z. So that can be written as equal to the determinant of a b c and then a b c then x y z then plus this will be a b c then 2 x 2 y 2 z then x y z so from here we can take 2 as common outside also 
So therefore, this determinant delta that will be equal to a b c then a b c then x y z then plus from here 2 i can take as common outside so this will be 2 into a b c then x y z then x y z so here also we can see that the two rows are identical r1 and r2 are identical here r1 and r2 are identical so by using the property 4 we can say that uh, th this determinant will be equal to 0 and here also r2 and r3 are identical therefore the value of this determinant also will become 0 so here r3 and r2 are identical so if any two rows or any two columns are identical it means that the corresponding elements are the same and the value of that determinant will become 0. So this will be also 0. This will be 0 also. So that is equal to 0. So hence proved. So now we can go to the next property that is the property 6. So the property 6 tells that if to each element of any row or any column of a determinant the equi multiples of the corresponding elements of other row or column are added then the value of that determinant remains the same that is the value of the determinant remains same if we apply these row operations or column operations so it means that if we apply if we apply the row operation suppose if we apply the row operation, which is suppose R i goes to R i plus K R j. It means what? It means that uh, to the ith row, here to the ith row, the uh, all the elements you can say to all the elements of the ith row the k times the k times or k multiples of all the elements of the jth row are being added the k times of all the elements of the jth row jth row are added jth row are added suppose or if we apply the column operation or if we apply the column operation column operation which is ci goes to ci plus kcj it means what it means here to all the elements of the ith column the k times of all the elements of the jth column are being added it means to all the elements it means to all the elements of the ith column to all the elements of the ith column, the k times or the k multiples, the k times of all the elements in the jth column, k times of all the elements of the jth column are added. then the value of the determinant remains the same then the value of the determinant the value of the determinant determinant remains the same suppose for example we have the determinant that is delta which is suppose equal to a1 b1 c1 
a2 b2 c2 and a3 b3 c3 so here to all the elements of the first row if we add k times of the third row and then we add so then we will get so then uh, and then suppose we have to find a new value of the determinant the new determinant suppose it is delta 1 so that will be so all the elements of the first row we are adding k times of the elements of the third row so that will be a1 plus ka3 and then this will be b1 plus kb3 this will be c1 plus kc3 this will be a2 b2 c2 then a3 b3 c3 so here here we have applied we have applied the row operation which is r1 goes to r1 plus k r3 so then so then therefore the delta 1 that will be equal to how much so when we uh, express this uh, uh, since here we have expressed the first row as the sum of two terms here as the sum of two terms so we can write this determinant as the sum of two determinants also so um, since by using the property five by using property five since the first row has been expressed as the sum of two terms so we can express it this determinant also as a sum of two determinants so this will be a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 and then a3 b3 c3 plus the determinant of k a3 k b3 and k c3 and then a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 so this determinant is equal to the delta only plus from here we can see that uh, all the elements in the first row has been multiplied by k so we can take k as common outside so this will be k into a3 b3 c3 a2 b2 c2 and a3 b3 c3 now since the first row and uh, uh, and third row are identical therefore the value of this determinant will become zero since by using the property three okay so this will be uh, will be equal to delta plus k into zero since why here r1 and r3 are identical here so k into zero is zero so therefore we can see that delta one equal to the delta only So based on this, we can do one example. Suppose it is asked to prove, suppose it is asked to prove that the determinant of A, then 2A, 3A, this will be A plus B, then this is equal to suppose 3A plus 2B, then this will be equal to 6A plus 3B, then this will be A plus B plus C, and then this will be 4a plus 3b plus 2c and this will be 10a plus 6b plus 3c the determinant of this we have to prove it as equal to a cube so let's say therefore the let's say this determinant is delta so delta will be equal to this so here from here we can apply the row operation that is r2 goes to r2 minus 2r1 r2 minus 2r1 since why then this will get 2a minus 2a this will become 0 so this will be a first row will remain unchanged we are applying the row operation since why then also the determinant value will remain unchanged if we apply these kind of row operations by using the property 6 so this will be a plus b a plus b plus c 
and this will become 2a minus 2a that is 0 3a plus 2b minus 2a minus 2b so this will become a this will be uh, 2a plus 2b plus 2c so if we subtract that from this so this will become 2a plus b and this will be 3a and 6a plus 3b then 10a plus 6b plus 3c so now here we can again apply the row operation that is r3 goes to r3 minus 3 r1 so then this will become 0 also so this will be equal to uh, the determinant of a a plus b a plus b plus c then this will become 0 a 2 a plus b and then 3a minus 3a that will become 0 6a plus 3b minus 3a minus 3b so this will be 3a this 10a plus 6b plus 3c minus 3 into this so 3c with 3c will cancel and this will become 7a plus 3b So then here if we apply the row operation, that is R3 goes to R3 minus 3 R2. Then we get, this will be, so from row 3, we have to subtract the 3 times the elements in the row 2. So this will be A, A plus B and then A plus B plus C the determinant of this uh, this will be 0 a 2a plus b and this will be 0 3a minus 3a that will be 0 7a plus 3b minus 6a minus 3b so this will be a so then here since we see that the elements in the first column are having the maximum number of zeros so we can expand it expand this determinant along the first column so now therefore we got the determinant delta that is equal to a a plus b a plus b plus c and then this will be 0 a 2 a plus b this will be 0, 0, A. So now expanding the determinant, expanding this determinant along the first column, along the first column, which is C1, then we get what? So then, therefore, delta will be equal to A into, since A is the element of the first row and first column, so this will be minus 1, whole power 1 plus 1 into the determinant of we have to exclude the first row and first column and the, for the remaining we have to take the determinant so this will be a 2a plus b and 0a so this will be equal to so minus 1 whole power 2 that is 1 only so a into this will be a square minus 0 so this is equal to a cube so hence we are being asked to prove that this determinant equal to a cube so hence we have proved it so hence proved so hope you have understood the concepts thank you